Today's video, we're going to be checking out the new NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Casey Jones Replica Mask. After waiting in a puddle of radioactive waste, four radical reptiles were transformed into New York City's greatest crime-fighting quartet. Of course, even the best team knows the value of a worthy ally. That's why the Turtles trust the fierce vigilante Casey Jones to watch their six on the field. With his hockey stick and baseball bat, Casey is always ready to slap shot some scuzz buckets and swing foot soldiers over the fences. This hand-painted and exceptionally detailed reproduction of Casey's mask features adjustable straps that allow you to wear it, hang it on a wall, or display it on a mannequin head. The mask is made of heavy-duty ABS plastic. So I'll show you what it looks like when we open up the box here. I'm going to go ahead and take the, open the top flap, slide out the mask, just in case somebody was wondering what it looked like when you get immediately out of packaging. It comes in a, a clamshell sleeve. We can open that up. And then you've got the Casey Jones mask here, wrapped up in plastic. Warning to avoid danger of suffocation. We shouldn't joke about suffocating. Keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Do not use this bag in cribs, uh, beds, carriages, and, and or playpens. This bag is not a toy. So just in case somebody was wondering, no, don't run around with the bag on your head. The mask here is, for the most part, a really faithful reproduction of the mask that Casey Jones wears in the very first Turtles movie. Unfortunately, Casey Jones never appeared in the second movie. They were gearing the Secret of the Ooze more towards kids and wanted to make it a little bit more kid-friendly, so Casey Jones got that <laughs> even unfortunate still, Casey Jones came back for the very dismal Turtles 3. But this is the original mask that he sports when he first confronts Raphael in the park. And I have to admit, yeah, it's a really good representation of the mask that he wears. If I could utter one little bit of critique, at the very most, NECA went the extreme route of making a very clean, very white, pristine mask. And going back and watching some of the footage of the mask in the movie, I feel like the mask has perhaps a little bit of debris, like a little bit of dirt, a little bit of wear to it. Areas around the eyebrow, the eyebrows, or the equivalent of the eyebrows on the mask here, seem as in the movie to almost be a slightly more darker shade, or at the very least, it would be to the point where you can make out the, the more browed area of the mask a little bit clearer. The mask may also be slightly more darker in color, and again, going back to what I was talking about, could have a little bit more of the indications of mud, like a little splattering of mud and little f spots and freckles like that. But other than that, it's a really, again, close proximity to the mask that we got in the movie. It has almost like a burlap strapped um, uh, strappings to the back here, which are adjusted on their, on the sides here. There's adjustable straps, just similar to a belt, where you could loop and tighten it depending on how your head fits it. There's adjustments on the top and then on the four areas of the straps that connect to the sides of the mask here. The material is very durable, so I would imagine you could get some wear and tear out of this. Although, to be fair, I'd probably be more inclined to display it, say, on a mannequin head that we looked at at the beginning of this review, or at the very least, I probably would have it hanging from the wall. Um, all the indications here, all the little features, such as the slotted breathing areas of his mask, the opening of the nose, and again, the, the placement and the angle of the eyes is accurate. But at the very least, like I said, I would probably have gone in and just kind of dirtied up the mask. It's not to say that if you're not a customizer, a little bit of dry painting and stuff like that, you could probably go in and just kind of give it a slight more aged look to it. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The plastic feels durable. Like it doesn't feel like a very soft plastic. I would not entertain the idea of, you know, bending the mask and warping the mask. But at the very least, I have to say that it is a, a very durable feeling mask. The question would only then be is where I would display it. Again, you could go the route of using the mannequin head, but I don't know, I kind of think I may ultimately display this on my wall, for example, in my basement, just kind of have it hanging down. I could actually have it hanging down in the same areas as probably where I'm going to be putting like the Jason hockey masks. Uh, NECA actually, speaking of hockey masks, uh, NECA has already gone the route of releasing, I think, four Jason masks. They released 
the NES Jason. They released three, five, possibly even six. I would have to go back and double check my videos. So it would be very fitting then to have, say, the Casey Jones mask amongst all the other masks that NECA have already produced. The NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Casey Jones replica mask is now available in comic book stores and some retail stores should you wish to pick this up for yourself. NECA Toys has done a bang up job of recreating the original hockey mask where we are introduced for the very first time uh, to Casey Jones when he confronts Raphael in the park. Uh, NECA has, I think, gone the route of giving us a more pristine looking mask, whereas I feel based on the footage that was in the movie, the mask seems to have a more slightly dirtier, almost darker tone to it. I'm sure it's something that a customizer with a little bit of paint and a little bit of creativity could go in and just kind of customize the mask to give it a slightly more worn or aged look. Despite its more pristine look, I think it still fits perfectly on a display shelf or if you want to display it on a mannequin's head. I probably will be displaying this, however, on a shelf or on a wall. In fact, I was thinking about maybe even hanging this on the wall next to my other NECA Toys Friday the 13th hockey mask. So bang up job from NECA Toys. Turtle fans should want to probably pick this up for themselves. Today, once again, we are having a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Casey Jones replica mask. If you'd also like to hit that little subscribe button down below if you already haven't done so, more videos will be definitely coming your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.